Hi everyone, let's quickly go over seven business tips for composers. Tip number one, identify your target client. This is a service business. We're providing a service for a client who is our customer. If we are a film composer, that means we're providing a service for a film producer um, and a director. If we are writing music for orchestral concerts, then our client is the orchestra and the conductor. Uh, but those are two very different situations and two very different clients. We want to start out by making sure we know who our target client is. Tip number two, identify your product and service. All composers are in the business of creating musical compositions. Um, if I'm writing a piece of music for a concert, I'm writing a composition, creating a composition, then making the parts for the players and the score for the conductor. In other situations, I'm also making a recording. If I'm working on a t television show or a film, I need to also make a recording of that uh, composition. So those are two different situations. In one situation, my product is just the composition. In another situation, I need to create a composition and also a recording. It is beneficial to think about what other services you are really providing for your client. Um, one such service might be simply staying within the recording budget and the music budget that your client has for their given project. Tip number three, circulate. It's important to spend time with your target client. In general, we're composers. We like writing music. We like being in our studio. We like being on our computer, working on new music. However, it's important to also go to conferences, go to festivals, go to industry events where you can meet people who are prospective clients. Tip number four, ask the magical question. What music do you need for your next project? This question really accomplishes two things. First, it helps you identify who a prospective client is. If you ask that question and they don't really have an answer, they're probably not gonna be hiring a composer soon. If they have a very specific answer for that question, then they are a potential client. Second, it shifts in the conversation towards the most useful information for you as the composer. It helps you identify what music they need for their project and then how you can provide a service to them that has value. Tip number five, get credit. It's important to get credit for the work that you are doing. There are different opportunities in the industry. Some will give you credit for the work you do and others will not. But credibility starts with credit. So if you get credit for work, you have more credibility in the future when you're negotiating your fee on a future project. Tip number six, make it once, sell it multiple times. Music and other forms of intellectual property are unique in that they can be sold and licensed to multiple clients and used in multiple products. This is one of the most advantageous elements of music and the one of the ways that it can make the most money. It is a little bit different than other products. Uh, most products, you make it the product and then you sell it. To have a second sale, you have to make a second product. Music is not necessarily like that. We can make one piece of music and then license it multiple times and sell it to multiple clients. Uh, we should try to take advantage of this because it's one of the ways that music uh, can make the most money. Tip number seven, keep your costs low. The way the economics are structured for composers is that on many projects, they get paid well, it's just paid in the future. So with royalty payments, those usually show up a year after the project is done or two years or three years or four years or even 10 years after the project is done. Also, there is a certain amount of unpredictability in the industry. Even a very busy working composer may have a month where they don't have a project they are working on. Um, it's important to keep your costs low um, in both of those situations while you're waiting for royalty payments that will come in the future and also as you're going through a month where you don't have a project. Composers who do keep their costs low are in the best position economically. Thank you for watching these seven business tips for composers. I hope you're all very successful both economically and creatively.